All right, students, this is Lesson 10, Session 3, Solving Multi-Step Problems. We are on page 203, so you should have a pencil to write with, your math book, and then you should also have um, an index card with our questions for how to solve word problems. All right, so let's go ahead and read our problem here. Miss Dennison packs up the books in her classroom for the summer. Each box holds nine books. She has 24 math books and 27 science books to pack in boxes. Write and solve an equation to find how many boxes Miss Dennison needs for the books. Okay, so first, what is this problem about? Well, it's about um, a teacher, Miss Dennison, packing up books in her classroom. What information is important? It's important to know that each box holds nine books. It's also important to know that she has 24 math books and that she has 27 science books to pack. What am I trying to find out? Well, I'm trying to find out how many boxes Miss Dennison needs for the books and can I draw a model? Yes. It tells me to write and solve an equation, but I need a, I want to draw a model first. So, first I need to find out how many total books that she has. So she has 24 math and 27 science. So I can draw a picture of this, because this is math, and this is science. So if I add those together, how many books total? I don't like adding side by side because I think it's too easy to mess up. So I'm going to rewrite it on top of each other. 7 plus 4 is 11. I'm going to add 1. 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. So she has 51 books total to pack. Okay. Now, each box holds nine books, okay? So we could start counting and putting groups of nine. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So if you're going to count and do it like this, you have to stop at the total, which is 51. And then you would know that she needs one box, two box, three boxes, four boxes, five boxes, but this is not quite a full box, so I'm going to put a circle around it because i got to figure out what to do with that. So she needs five boxes, but then she has a leftover one. Well, those books are going to have to go somewhere. These are the remaining books. Do I just throw them in a bag? Do I throw them to the side? What do I do with those last few books? There's one, two, three, four, five, there's six of them here. Well, she's probably going to actually need a box for those, too. So she's going to end up needing one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. Five of those boxes are going to be full, and one of them is going to have six books in it. It's just a coincidence that this is the sixth box and there's six books. This could be any number of books. Even if she only had one leftover book, she would still need a box to hold that one book. But now I need to, solve, to write an equation. Well, to write an equation to be able to solve this, we may have to use division, which we've not quite gotten into a lot of division yet, but you should know some division from when you were in third grade. So our first part is already here. We have our equation is 24 plus 27. But 
our total has to be divided by 9. So I'm going to divide by 9. And that's what's going to give me my answer of 5. And there's remaining books of 6. So I actually would need 6 boxes. And that is how you solve this problem. Let's go ahead and turn to page 204 over here. Okay, on this example, they showed us how to do this using a number line. So if I were to use a number line, you can see here that at the top, she's measuring how far her number line is going to go. And it's going to go to 51 books, as we can see here. But right here, she's skipping every nine books. So she's skipping by nines, or skip counting. And her last one would end over here. So then you would find out how many boxes she needs by counting each skip. So here's one box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes, five boxes, and then this last one's not completely full, but she still needs a box for it, so it's going to be six boxes. And you can see down here where they wrote the, their equation, 24 plus 27 divided by 9, which is the exact same thing that we got. Now they're going to solve it. 24 plus 27 is 51 divided by 9. Well, 51 divided by 9 is 5, and we have 6 left over. Okay. Now let's take a look over here at 205. What does the 5 in the solution 5 remainder 6 mean? Well, the 5 means that there are 5 full boxes. Okay, that they have an even number of books in each of those five boxes. What does the remainder six mean? Well, the remainder six means there are six books left over. How many books are left over that do not make a full box? Six. Is another box needed to hold the six leftover books? Yes, we do need another box. So how many boxes does she need? Well, she has five full and one that's partially full, so she'll need six boxes. Check the solution to the equation. Okay. So she has five boxes with nine books per, per box plus six extra books left over means that she should have 51 total books. And then you do not have to do five, six, or seven. We're going to go ahead and go to, if you would like to do page 206, I highly recommend that you do it. It is great practice for you. But we are going to skip over to page 207. So on page 207 here, it says check the solution to the equation in the example. Okay. Miss Murray has 12 students in one science class and 14 students in another. So this is starting off just like that last problem did. 12 students plus 14 students. She wants to combine both classes to do group work. Each table in the science room can seat four. So that's where we divided by four. How many tables does Miss Murray need? You can see here where she has 12 students plus 14 students. She skipped counting by fours. But look, this one does not go all the way to the 28. So you can see here 12 plus 14 divided by four, which is 26. 26 divided by four is six remainder two. Well, four times six is 24, and then 25, 26. So yes, her problem is right. 
So how many tables will she need? Well, she's going to need six tables. She'll have six that are full. How many students are at each of those tables? Well, there's four students at each table. Plus, she has an extra two students. So her total number of students is 26. Now, she's actually going to need how many tables? Because where are these two kids going to sit? Who knows? So she's actually going to need seven tables right here because those two t kids can't just sit on the floor. Okay, number two. Letitia earns $8 each time she rakes the yard. She has earned $24 so far. Write and solve an equation to show how many more times Letitia needs to rake the yard to earn enough to buy a music player that costs $45. Show your work. Okay, so she earns $8 each time she rakes. She's made $20 to $4 so far. How many more times? So first we gotta find out um, how many. So we've got, we need 45. Okay, she's made 24. How much more does she need to make? If you remember back from lesson one, we talked about in lesson one how the different problems look whenever you're solving them. This type of problem right here looks like a subtraction problem. So we're gonna subtract 45 minus 24. Five minus four is one, four minus two is Two. So she needs 21 more dollars to buy a music player. Okay, page 208. Megan found 15 pieces of sea glass on the beach. The next day she found four more pieces than she found the day before. Write and solve an equation to find how many pieces of sea glass she found all together. Well, the first day she found 15. Okay. The next time she found four times that amount. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So then that means it's going to be 15 plus... 15 times 4. Well, first I need to do 15 times 4. I could also skip count. 15 2 times is 30. And 30 plus 30 is 60. But then it says all together. So 60 plus 15 is 75. So 75 pieces. Then go ahead and have your parents check numbers four and five. You are going to complete pages 209 to 10 to 11 and to 12 on your own. When you are finished with those pages, then you will need to check your answers um, from the answer key that I'm going to post. That is it for today. Let me know if you need anything.